Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and Xiaomi has just announced this insanely looking transparent OLED TV. So I went to Beijing to check it out, and uh, is it any good? Well, let's find out now. Let's go! So this TV was on display in the Xiaomi store on the Xiaomi campus in Beijing, where I got an actual look at it. But first, let's look at its specs. It's a 55 inch display, which is quite nice and it's only 5.7 millimeters thick. And as you can see, that is just the thickness of a cigarette, which is really quite insane. It's got a 120 Hz refresh rate and a full HD 1920 by 1080 pixels resolution, 178 degrees viewing angle and a 120 degrees chromatic viewing angle. The base serves as a stand, the speaker, and it's got all the internal hardware. It's got three gigs of memory, 32 gigs of flash storage and a quad core A73 CPU. It's got a very nice stereo speaker setup with 8 watt speaker drivers and support for many codecs, including uh, several Dolby and DTS audio encoding. In the base, you'll also find its three HDMI ports, AV port, 3.5mm audio out, two USB 2.0 ports, Ethernet, and optical audio port. It's also got Wi Fi supporting both 2.4 and 5 GHz networks, and it's got Bluetooth 5.0. And it runs MIUI TV, Xiaomi's patch wall operating system. So this TV is definitely going to be a hype, but how good is it in use? Well, in the store I got a good glimpse of how this TV works and what it looks like, and it's looking really amazing. It's something very spectacular to watch. In real life it's really crazy. The resolution is not really all that bad, even though it's just 1920 by 1080 pixels, it looks good. When it's turned off, it does blend in the environment well and it just looks crazy, like a, almost like a glass plate and I got to check out the audio. And the audio was actually very impressive and it sounded really, really good. But there's also definitely a few buts. The screen has definitely got quite some glare to it. And well, it's transparent. This becomes quite obvious when you stand behind it. For certain vibrant colors, it's really not all that bad, like here with this blue color for example. But on pure white or pure black colors, it becomes a lot more obvious. So you can see, especially in the darker areas, here it's harder to see but it is slightly transparent, which, I mean, if you have like a black wall or a white wall behind it, it should be okay. It's not there yet, but close. I mean, this looks cool, but I look like I can actually grab, I can actually grab this guy. At the time of me checking it out, um, they only played the demo content and that's got this butterfly on a pure black background. And there you can really see that in this image when I'm standing behind it, I'm really kind of in the screen trying to catch the butterfly. So there's three things that I want to point out. First is that it looks amazing when you see it in real life. It's really impressive. It's really an insane eye catcher when you see it for yourself. Second is that it will work a lot better when you place it in front of a pure black wall. Uh, maybe 50% gray would even be a good compromise to get the best results. And lastly, well, who would this TV be for? Well, as Xiaomi is the first company to actually commercially release such a transparent TV, it's something totally new. So I think it would be for early adopters and people that either have a very impressively designed house and they want a TV that's almost like an art piece in the space. It also might be very cool for some tech company that wants something that is an eye catcher in the meeting rooms when receiving clients. And lastly, this could be an amazing piece for your sci-fi movies as it really does look like something from the future. And I can totally imagine this would work amazing with some crazy futuristic UI designs on it. I can really see that work. So what do I think? Well, I had an hour with this TV in the store where there's super bright lights, there's some outside lights, even though they did close the store entirely, gave me full access for an hour, which was super amazing. You can definitely see some glare and it is, well, transparent, but it's innovation. 
It's high tech. It looks like an amazing eye catcher. It's something fresh and new and a design with just that foot and a basically a floating glass plate. The way they work this one out is just great. However, like I said, it does have a lot of glare. It's not 100% perfect as it does have some transparency even when it's turned on, but I'm sure they will just keep on developing this technology in the years to come. And this TV is proof that Xiaomi is surely working to get new and innovative products out on the market. And that by itself is just exciting. I know, and I'm sure Xiaomi knows, this TV is not for everyone. But the handful of people that really want this crazy tech, it's actually here. The Xiaomi Transparent OLED TV is coming out in China for around 50,000 renminbi, which translates to around 7,000 US dollars or 6,000 euros, so it does come with quite a hefty price tag. But if you can't afford it and this is exactly what you want, like something impressive, well it's here, in China at least for now. So even though that's it for the all new Xiaomi Transparent TV, I did get to see some more impressive and new products while I was in Beijing, like this new cart, which is a collaboration between Xiaomi and Lamborghini. And yeah, I got to drive it as well. And I've got a video coming out on that one very soon. So that's about it. What do you guys think of Xiaomi's Transparent TV? Do you think that this is where the future of TVs is headed into? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Let me know down here in the comment section what you guys think. And don't forget to leave a little like below this video to show me that you liked it. And if you've not subscribed to the channel yet, well, know that you probably should because I'm doing a lot more videos about Xiaomi and the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.